Trevor Bauer has been officially DFA'd from the Dodger organization. And I don't think this came as any surprise to anybody. We saw this coming probably a long time ago. Oh, and we and we talked about it last week for sure, too. Yeah. So yeah, this is this is good. But it officially happened. The Dodgers are gonna eat the two the twenty two and a half million uh from this year that they owe him, and then that's it. They're they're they've cut ties completely. Right. Now this affords Trevor Bauer an opportunity to play anywhere he wants at kind of an interesting time in the hot stove season to be picked up by a team. Most teams have wrapped up all of their free agency tray or their free agency grabs. And it's, it's just this, I feel like is a bombshell in team development, team planning across the league that now what are they going to do? Right. Especially so, if you're Steve Cohen and you spend all your money. <laughs> well, this is the thing, though, is that nobody has to give him any money because the Dodgers are paying him that $22.5 million so that somebody can bring him in for the league minimum, and he's still getting all that money. He's not missing out on anything. He has his pick of the litter of anybody, really, who is willing to bring him on, given the circumstances and everything that's surrounding him. Right. Right. So that's that's going to be the thing. That's what's going to limit people bringing him in is do they want to deal with everything that comes with Trevor Bauer before and right now? Yeah. That being said, Seattle needs a fifth starter. There's going to need a fifth starter. Last week. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I maintain that I think he would be a perfect fit for them, not only as far as the pitching need. I think that that clubhouse is strong enough and has enough leadership that like, if he's – dinking around because Jesse Winker got run out of town uh, based on a report that guys right. were upset that his shenanigans were not sitting well in the clubhouse. Yeah. Right. So if Trevor Bauer comes in and guys are like, okay, like we don't appreciate what's going on here. They can let DePoto know and he'll be out of town. Yeah. Especially if you bring him in on the league minimum and right. that fits John Stanton's budget. It does. Hey, that's a really good point. Dude's cheap. He is cheap, and he has made it very clear that they will not push past any of their budget, not one time, not right. one dollar. Yeah, I mm. think this. I think this is a perfect fit for Seattle. That's a great. That's a great analysis. Look at you. You're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd just like to see him throw a ball over Yankee Stadium center field wall right into, into Monument Park. Into Monument Park. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care who he's playing for at that point. I just want to see that happen. Just get real <laughs> bugged about something. Maybe the umpires check him because I don't think he's been around since the umpires have started aggressively checking pitchers. He so that'll know. be new and it'll be really interesting. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. 